Raffi. She is the High Oracle of Cain, the Shadow Queen, and the Grand Matriarch of the Daughters of Cain. She is a creature of magic, manipulation, and secrets, a blood priestess of battle, and a mistress of lies and hidden intrigues. She is Morafi, and she would be a god. She is an ancient being, a seeress unmatched in her majesty of dark magic. In addition to being able to summon the horrors of the Nightshade Realm, she has used her spells to morph into a more alluring form. A radiant shield framed by outstretched wings wrought of shadow metal. So great is her supernatural beauty that foes stand mesmerized by her rapturous allure. It is a fatal mistake for Marathi wields her spear heart render with cruel efficiency and her bladed pinions are themselves razor sharp weapons that can easily lop limbs and heads. As the Grand Matriarch, Leader and High Oracle of the Daughters of Cain, Morafi's every word is law, her every wish a command. With but a chanted invocation, she can send members of her already zealous warrior cult into a fever pitch, causing them to redouble their efforts to slaughter. When diplomacy, sorcery or seduction are needed, Morafi maintains her Aeolf Queen guides. But at need, or when in the throes of the strongest of passions, Morafi reverts to her true form. It is a horrific sight to witness. Rippling waves of shadows engulf her seductive Aeolf form to cover this most violent transformation. Rivering seamlessly, she twists into a towering new shape, blazing eyes glow through the eldritch mist, which disperses as anonymous bat-like wings unfold. Uncoiling to her full height, Morafi emerges in her true shape, her flowing hair replaced with venomous snakes that hiss as they strike through the umbral wisps that still cling about her. Whilst in her Shadow Queen form, Morafi's fury reaches new heights and she has the power to thrust Heartrender through a pillar of stone. She has been known to wrap foes in her crushing coils while using her tail sting and crown of snakes to deliver darting attacks. Most deadly of all, she can focus all the self-loathing and spite inside her into a single, transfixing gaze. Those that dare meet her eyes must have a will of iron, lest their blood boil and burst them apart. Once transformed into her monstrous self, it takes time for Morafi's rage to subside. Hours, even days, may pass before she can resume her Aeolf Queen aspect. So great was her anger during the blood strife wars that she remained in her Shadow Queen form for months. Throughout her impossibly long life, Morafi has been many things a wife, a warrior, a queen, and a mother and power behind the throne of not one, but two elven nations of the world that was. She was a high priestess of the elf gods, a consort to demons, and a mother to a son that would ascend to godhood. During all that time she was a spinner of half-truths, a manipulator, of such scale that entire empires moved to the command of her slightest whispers. That infamous past has been left behind, for Morafi has changed. Upon freeing herself from the torments of Sermesh, she has renounced her covenant plots, 
redirecting herself solely to Cain. As his high oracle, it is she who interprets the gods of battle's wishes and commands the war covens of the daughters of Cain. However, the worshippers of Cain have all been deceived. As it is all a lie, Cain is dead, his last aspects of power and only hope for resurgence have been usurped, held within his iron heart and exploited by Marathi for her own benefit. It is the most dangerous of games that Marathi plays, for she speaks with the voice of a dead god, issuing her own commands to an ever-growing order of religious warriors, yet daily she draws strength from their blood offerings while draining Cain's iron heart dry of every last drop of power she can milk from its metallic chambers. Morafi hopes to one day reap revenge upon all those who scorned, spurned or tormented her. She would use her rising power to achieve dark apotheosis with each drop of deceiving blood spilt in her cause. That day draws ever closer. And that is my short lore video on Marathi. I think she's a very cool character. I think in the old world she was pretty cool as well and the role she played there. It's interesting to see how she's been taken forward in Age of Sigma, how she's been reimagined as she tries to still hold on to this aspect of unnatural beauty but even more so it's more unnatural now as she has to completely change her form um, to become more she-elf like otherwise her normal form is this big monstrosity medusa as we've all seen in the model um, which is I think done quite cool I like it that she's still up to her you know old tricks with the deceiving of you know essentially just mortals and followers and in this case believing that Cain is still real and every sacrifice these um you know, witch elves and everything do to Cain, i.e. being called the daughters of Cain, is to try and help their god, but really Marathi's just stealing all the power to uh, one day be able to become a god herself, because she is certainly a um, very, how do I say it in a good way, very career focused, I think she is. She knows what she wants and she's not afraid to do what she needs to do to get it. And um, I think the model is also really cool. Daughters of Cain, on a side note as well, is an army I haven't really covered on this channel at all. I like at most maybe I've done one video that involved them. I haven't focused on them really at all, and they've been out for what over two years now. So it's actually quite good to have a look at them. They'll be getting a wide play at some point soon, as I'm reaching the end of my wide play. So they'll be getting they'll be getting one of those soon and um, obviously at some point in the future a full army series but it's been cool to dive into them a little bit there is some stuff coming out for them in november as well which will be interesting to see if anything um, changes but i think it's about the same the model everything looks kind of the same it looks like maybe it's just a hero that's coming out for them and a campaign book like the raft the ever chosen but this one more focused around doors of Cain. that could be cool to see but we'll have to wait and find out for that one hopefully they're they're still going good. The only problem I have with Daughters of Cain is that to play them most competitively, you have to take lots of Witch Hells. That's what a lot of people do. But in all honesty, if I collected these guys, I would just take the um, Medusai as battle line. The um, the Medusas, essentially, I can't remember exactly what they're called. But um, I would definitely take them because they're just the coolest and you can have more of an elite army rather than painting 120 Witch Hells. And um, if I was to go the Witch Elf route, I'd definitely do Sisters of Slaughter anyway, because I just think they look cooler with the whips and chains, very kinky. And um, the Harpies are very cool as well. But anyway, I digress. So, I thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Honestly, when you guys have been smashing these like buttons over the videos, it really, really does help to try and let YouTube know to recommend these videos. And um, really does help the channel, and it's absolutely free for you guys to do so. And... It's something I've been doing a lot more since I got onto YouTube as well. You know, if you appreciate a video, give it give it a like, just because it, um, it lets the YouTuber know that you um, you enjoyed it as well, essentially. But anyway, so with that, I want to also thank my patrons 
who if it wasn't for them I wouldn't be able to continue this channel so thank you very much for all you guys if you'd like to consider being a patron you'll find a link to my patreon at the top of the description down below you don't have to become a patron it's absolutely up to you guys but if you would like to any support really does go to help the channel out and really makes me be able to keep this up and uh, of course guys you got any questions about Daughters of Cain or anything you want to you know have a chat about that sort of stuff comment down below and we have to have that chat with you so until next time guys remember stay safe obviously stay hygienic and of course remember Nagash is all and all is one in Nagash <laughs>